Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 2, the ultimate hexer's guide. What's next on our agenda? I think I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can level up. <clears throat> and then, since we're here, or since we're right in the groove of uh, Sinner's Rise, might as well take out the lost Sinner. No, I cannot level up. Well, oh, <laughs> fuck. Just went into the screen again. Did not mean to do that. What I meant to do was rest at the bonfire and head to Sinner's Rise. So I think I should be able to take out the Lost Sinner fairly easily. I don't know. Can never say anything for sure in this game. But definitely gonna try. And then... Gonna see how much time I have left over and if I have quite a bit, I'll probably go ahead and start my descent into the Black Gulch just to get my weapon. And, well, maybe I'll clear out the Rotten, since I'm there too. Okay, so, let's get going here. Should not have jumped that, probably. Uh, what I think I'm gonna do is... Ah, should I summon Lucatil? Do I want to go for Lucatil's stuff? See, the thing is, I want her armor. But then I could summon her for Smelter. You know what, I think I'm going to summon her, and the reason I'm going to do it is because she is definitely going to survive this fight. Uh, since I already summoned her for the Flexile Sentry, might as well go all the way and rescue her. Or not rescue her, but complete her quest line. That was a little bit close there. Yeah, complete her quest line. Okay, her, um, the top that she gives you looks really cool. The hat, like I said, I'm not a big fan of the hat because of the mask. I wish you could get, like, the um, the maskless version of that hat. Because the hat looks fucking badass. But yeah, I, I might want her set. Okay. Anyways, we are going to be eventually limited in our choice of equipment. In our choice of helmet beca helmets because there is... Uh, oh, I guess these guys are resistant to every type of magic. Because I remember they were completely immune to pyromancies. Guess that's just the thing they have. Uh, Alright. That was a bit close. Oh, that's not a... Fuck. Probably had like 2 HP left. Okay, I need to stop like wasting my Estus. And I got a Malform Skull, which... Somehow I always get on characters that I will never use them on. Okay, are you aggroed on me? No, you're not. Now you are. Let's just lure him back here because we don't want to aggro the third one. Come on, do something. There you go. Took you long enough. You just have to kind of take it slow with these enemies. Alright. Can go for two hits, but sometimes I don't want to risk that. Okay, you're done. And right here we have... Yeah, there it is. We do have a ring here that I never use, but I guess you could go for if that's your thing. This is the Northern Ritual Band. What's over here? Oh, it's another corpse. Never even knew that that, that was there. That's kind of cool. Northern Ritual Band, I think it decreases your HP, but increases your spell uses. Not a big fan of it. The Southern Ritual Band is much more handy. Okay, let's see. There you are. Come on. Okay, you should probably two-hand. Oh, that was a mistake. Almost. Ah, oh, fuck. I aggroed the... Uh, thank you, Dark Orb. But that was close. Shouldn't have aggroed that guy. Because that's gonna get me fucking killed. I'm not careful. This is a pretty assholeish part of. Oh, what the hell? Wait, why did that miss? God damn it. Okay, this should. If I didn't keep missing, I could actually finish him off. Thank you. Hmm, should I. You know what, I'll just use a Radiant Life Gem. And that should carry me. Don't want to waste too many of those, but... 
you know i always end up with like a huge stockpile of them especially the old radiant life gems sound effect was strangely late there it sometimes happens but yeah it kind of just like a weird thing what's really annoying is when it happens in the arena and it kind of like fucks you up you get off rhythm is there anything in here i always forget what's in these uh, cells i know the locked one contains a fire seed but i don't really need that there are however quite a f come on lock on don't fail me the short sword seems to be kind of a good weapon against these guys okay yeah that did kill him do have a lot of souls though but i don't want to go i'm too lazy to go back and level up with the herald because then i'd have to fight all these enemies again and that's just not worth the eff effort and there yep there you are whoa that was close okay i think we're all good here there might be one more of these no there isn't pharos's lockstone soul of a proud knight we'll take those I will need to kind of like save up, I think like 13,000 souls to get the silver cat ring, something like that. Anyways, now that we've cleared this area out, oh shit, I'm gonna use a human effigy here. And I guess that means we can take off the ring of binding and replace it with... Cover the silver serpent, I want more souls gonna need to level up a lot so getting more souls is oh wait you know what actually while i go back and get lucatil i'm gonna put on the ring of restoration just so that it can top my hp off that seems like the smart way to go about this <clears throat> okay let's head back her summon sign yeah i did talk to her didn't i so her summon sign should be back there Just have to go all the way back here. Well, oh, that was a phantom. <laughs> I was, I was, I got scared there for a second. And let's not make any stupid mistakes. Okay, Lucadil, I guess I'm topped off in terms of HP. We can go for this ring. You're awesome. Okay, let's go. It's really cool that she can hold her sword, the old mirror great sword or the mirror great sword with. Well, basically, if you didn't notice, she holds it like a long sword, while if you use it, you kind of hold it like uh, one of the great swords, like a claymore. That's kind of cool. Let's see if she can redeem herself from the flexile sentry boss fight because she was completely useless there for some reason. She didn't even do anything. Oh shit, don't fall off, Lucatil. You do have to be careful with her, because... You know her AI is not the most reliable. Okay, dark weapon up. Let's go, Lost Sinner. I remember on my first playthrough I found this boss to be very challenging. Now, not so much. I'm better at dodging. Because the rhythm of the game is kind of different to Dark Souls. Okay, good. That is dealing plenty of damage. Even though it's only a plus three longsword. R1 spam. Avoid her attacks. Oh, shit. Be careful, Lucatil. I want you to live. I wouldn't want to have to like quit this boss fight to... Oh, shit. That clipped me. Look, deal, you might want to distract her for a bit. I can get a couple of Dark Orbs off. Dark Orb deals decent damage, surprisingly. Has shitty tracking, but that's not our concern. Oh, where did you go? There you are. Nice. Never even got a jumping attack on this boss, ever. Okay, and you should be... Look at the tracking on that. It is ridiculous. The tracking on the... Um, jumping attacks sometimes. Okay, look at the finisher off. <clears throat> Goddamn, what the hell is up in my voice? I have recorded quite a bit today. 
especially Final Fantasy X. Thank you for all the souls. Thank you, Luke Deal. Alright, we, we can de equip the binoculars for now. So, yeah, I have recorded quite a bit today. This is the last thing I'm gonna be doing here. So, maybe that's the reason my voice is all weird. Anyways, pick up a second fragrant branch. Don't want to miss out on that. And of course, the Elizabeth mushroom. This is like, yeah, regret ahead. That's what it says. All right, back to Majula. Okay, the question is, how do I want to spend my souls? I think just gonna keep going for Faith and Int. Wanna try out, well, maybe not Dark Folk. I also need adapt, not adaptability, attunement. Because hexes are kind of um, attunement slot heavy. If you wanna actually use them effectively. I wanna get one more attunement so I can attune three spells at least. But I still want to have some le left over for the ring. Actually, you know what? I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll go for the ring. Buy that. And then we can go ahead and level up. I'll probably make it through the Grave of Saints in this episode. I know the Grave of Saints very well now. <laughs> Spent so much time... Oh, I haven't even talked to her yet. Uh, I've spent so much time, you know, um, what you call it, farming for the Vanquisher seal. Okay, yeah, that's 13,000. Kind of expensive. But it is something we need to get. Alright, back to the Herald we go. I, should st I st still should be able to gain at least a few levels. Alright, level up. We are gonna go for... how much do I need? Okay. It should be good. Hmm. Do I want to put this much to adaptability? It does it also increase my HP. Yeah, I'll go for it. Should be fine. And then this will allow me to go ahead and tune. Not that again, because don't have the stats for that. Dark for Dark Hill. We'll go with Dark Hill. Why not? Don't know how useful it is in PvE. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is this should give me enough. No, nope. just under it. Okay, now we have enough. I'm gonna go ahead and repair my Ring of Life protection. Uh, there we go. Oh yeah, it's only th fuck. Yeah, someone mentioned this because I said that in the first episode or the second episode that the Ring of Life Protection needs uh, 6,000 souls. It's only 3,000. But the reason I said 6,000 is because normally I carry around two of them. And, you know, I'm usually repairing them in pairs. So I just had 6,000 on my mind because I always repair them in pairs. Anyway, have we been to the Majula Mansion yet? Yes, I think. I think I have. Yeah, definitely, because I have the Black Steel Katana on this character. I still haven't fucking talked to Corillion of the Fold, which I guess is my fault. Alright, off we go. That deals a lot of damage, only because I have low HP. But, you know... I'm actually not mad about the fall mechanics in this game. I think that that is a good change. Because if you look at like Demon Souls or even Dark Souls, that falling damage thing is ridiculous. It's like nothing happens to you. You like jump off a 10 story building and you take like 10% damage. So, you know, it's kind of. This one kind of reflects more on reality. As much as a game like this can reflect reality, you know. Okay, let's go ahead and start our descent. There is actually a hex down here. I'm just reminded of that, which does require a Pharos' Lockstone, which luckily I have. So I maybe, maybe I'll get invaded here or get summoned. Usually doesn't happen. I don't think that many people play in the Rat Covenant, which is kind of a shame, because it's a fun one, I think. Never actually played in it, but... 
See, the thing is, if nobody's in it, I don't really want to try it out. The problem is, it is limited to only these two areas, Grave of Saints and the other one, Doors of Pharos. So it is kind of limited in terms of what you can achieve. Which is a shame. I guess it kind of works like the Bell Covenant. Except somehow that one seems more populated. Although that one too, I've been getting... It's been getting... It's increasingly difficult to get invasions there too. But you know, this is just my experience. Maybe I'm not the right soul memory bracket or things like that. And I think the hex is... Is it? Yeah, it's gonna be right here. Let's try and show off a dark hail. Works well in close range. But it works really well on large enemies. I'm... Huh? Um... Game? Okay, there we go. What the fuck was that? Is it this? Yeah, Whisper of Despair. Kind of an interesting hex. This is the one that is it prevents you from casting spells or prevents others from casting spells. So PvP kind of useful or I imagine it would be useful. Depends on how many tombment slots it takes. And I think that's one of the more faith heavy spells. Let's check it out. Hex that releases Verbo's darkness. The darkness echo echoes words of despair reducing the Oh it's not oh I know what which one this is. And I do have the stats for it, don't I? No, wait, I probably don't have the end. Or the faith. I I was confusing this with... There is another spell. There is a spell that prevents you from casting. But this is not it. Okay, let's get going. Kind of a simple boss, this one. At least, hopefully. Okay, I can two-shot the rats. Only thing is, don't get poisoned. I did have to fight this boss on New Game Plus while I was farming for the Vanquisher Seal. That was hell, because I was kind of low level. And this fight, low level on New Game Plus, like I said, is pretty nightmarish. But I got through it. And it turned out that the Vanquisher still is not really that good in the DLC. Which kind of pissed me off. Actually, if we can end this right, it almost works. I mean, it's good for weakening a bunch of these rats. Come on, R1 spam. Thank you for helping me. Where is that rat bastard? on. Fuck. I have no poise. They are resistant to... Ah, fuck. No, 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 no. This is gonna kill me. Shit. It's the poison that got to me. Or was it the pet petrification? No, it's the poison. Well, that's still better, but... God damn. And ah, fuck, I didn't have my ring of life protection. Ugh. Whatever. Can do this again. Maybe a bit smarter. Not having poise for this fight is kind of a bitch. Oh no, I did have my ring. Why didn't it say that the ring broke? Weird. Okay, what else can I do here too? Will I actually be able to wear this? That's a question. Yes, I, does this actually give me any poise? Uh, I don't even know where to check. Boys, 7. Well, I think 7 is better than 0. No, wait. I think this is good. This armor actually looks really cool. Never even worn it. But I think this will help me, probably. Oh shit, should have cast Dark Weapon. Yeah, I really do need Dark Weapon, because otherwise, it takes 3 hits to kill these rats. This way it only takes two. Okay, will the R2... No, R2 cannot kill them. 
So might as well go for R1 spam. Oh shit. Be careful here. Problem is I'm letting my stamina run out. And that's not the smartest decision. Yeah, probably just gonna go unlocked because locking on is kind of weird in this fight. Shit. Where is the fucking authority? Or vanguard or whatever this one's called. The authority is the other one. Seriously? Ah, fuck. Didn't even manage to make him spawn. I think you have to kill like a certain number of rats to make him appear. Not exactly sure. But this is what happens if you take this on at lower levels. Anyways, one more try. I have plenty of time. Hope to make a bit more progress in this episode. Guess that's not gonna happen. Do I have one more death in me? You know what? I think we'll go for the Ring of Binding here. Actually, I don't need the Stone Ring, do I? It's not gonna really affect anything. So I do want to get the extra souls, because that is something I will need. This is definitely not the smartest way to do this fight. Did I just put away my sword? Oh no, I didn't. I was worried for a sec. There we go. Come on, take things slow. That's the key here. Pick up my souls. I guess that kind of works. See, the thing is, these rats, they seem like they touch you and they do damage to you. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, there's no way I can one-shot them. That's a problem, actually. Alright. Gonna have to actually concentrate on this boss fight. Like I said, the only time I... I had this much trouble with this boss is when I took them on in New Game Plus. Oh, there you are. That's who we're looking for. That's not who we we're looking for. Fucking ugh, poise in this game. Sometimes I wish I had Havels. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Could just cheese him, couldn't I? Yeah, this might actually be the best choice for me here, where if I can lock on. Shit. It's not good. Come on, come on, I don't want to die. Please lock on, please do. God damn it, I fucking hate it. Lock on is all weird in this fight. Where the fuck is he? There you are. There you are. Please die. Please die. One more. One more. Yes. That was kind of a cheesy way to do it. But it worked. And that's all that really matters. I'm gonna go back. I can... Actually, leave the Drang Lake mail on. No, it's gonna slow me down. Okay, that was surprisingly tough, that boss battle, but I will equip my. at least like a glove, and this hat doesn't match at all. None of them do, so we'll just go with this. Let's go ahead and rest again. I could go down. No, you know what? This is 24 minutes in. This took longer than expected. I'm just gonna go back to Mijula and spend these 19,000 souls, and then we're gonna wrap it up here. And I'll actually go to, finally go to Carillion and I'll talk to him. Maybe if I have, like, I'll use some consumables and buy the clear blue, clear blue stone ring. I'll see, whatever. Okay, Harold. Let's see what we can do here with these 19,000 souls. Level up. 24. Ah, I almost have the stats for that. Whisper of Despair. 
I do know what that spell does. I know what it looks like. Anyways, gonna end the episode here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed part 4 of the Hex Guide. Yeah, this is part 4. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.